Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Chad from Chad DIY and today is another X-Tool P2 video. Now this video is gonna focus on the two main features this laser cutter has compared to other laser cutters and that is its batching feature as well as its curved laser engraving and cutting feature. We're gonna start by focusing on that batching feature. So let's get started. All right, we're gonna jump into X-Tool Create Space here. We're gonna make some circles. I'm kind of use an example of like making some tokens, kind of something like that, that you might engrave on later. Do about an inch and a half. Then I'm just gonna copy and paste a bunch of them here. Kind of align them a little bit. It's great with this camera where you can really use every inch of that board where you know exactly where they're getting placed. Kind of, kind of group them, get my settings there, and cut them out. All right, now that I have my tokens cut out, I'm gonna kind of refresh that image. I can get rid of these cut lines I had before. I'm gonna take up a close-up picture of this now. I can kind of zoom in there. I kind of have my own logo all kind of ready to go, so I am gonna get that lined up on just one of these tokens here. Can I get it centered? All right, I'm gonna get kind of my settings going here for engraving. All right, center up a little bit better. All right, smart fill, there you go. All right, so they all just popped up right like that. So they are, so the one I did is facing up. These other ones are kind of random and it looks like I am gonna to have to adjust them just a touch, but that definitely could be a time saver. I'll zoom in and see how that was a little up high. But yeah, cool how they just popped up like that. Yeah, it looks like probably all of them do need a little bit of fine tuning before I can start engraving. Looks good and I'll process. All right, start my engraving. Now that I have my tokens engraved, you might be wondering why I wouldn't engrave them while I cut them, set them up in that file. Well, that would be the proper way to do it. This is more of an example of if you need to do two sides of a token, so you cut them all out while you engrave them first, then cut them out. And then if you wanted to flip them around and engrave the backside, that's kind of the example I was trying to show in this batching out process. Now in this test run of using that smart fill feature to kind of batch out these items, it did a really nice job of getting close to the center of each item. But what I did discover is you are gonna to have to tweak them a little bit to get them perfectly center. Now the time savings really is gonna be where if you lay 30 of these things out and instead of like copy, paste, copy, paste, you can just hit that smart fill. You get 30 filled right away. But most likely if you want them precise, you are gonna to have to adjust them or at least check them somewhere closer than others. So you're probably gonna to have to kind of recalibrate each image before you're gonna engrave it. Now my overall opinion on this feature is it works pretty good. It doesn't work amazingly well. You're still gonna to have to tweak each item most likely depending on how precise you want it. But overall, instead of avoiding trying to copy and paste all those images and put them in a jig, this is definitely gonna be a faster way to go on that. Now, if you are mass producing items, say you're doing these tokens, you're doing say 30 at a time over and over and over again, you're probably gonna want a jig and set up in the software where you have perfect alignment each time and you can just kind of go through. This feature though, if you're just doing a handful of kind of one-offs, you wanna do them pretty quick, it's really a time saver for that situation. 
All right, now that we have that smart fill feature kind of tested out, we're gonna move on to the curve feature of this P2 laser cutter. Now I'd like to test it both engraving over a curve and also cutting over a curve. So we're gonna kind of make up a couple test materials to do that and we can start cutting. So now we have a somewhat crude curve shape. I have it about an inch and a half going out to the top from zero. So that's kind of the curve, curve of it. So we're gonna load it up in the machine. We're gonna load it up in the software and see what happens. All right, I have my Xtool Create space open. Here's the image of that curved board. So I'm gonna to go to Curve Process. Select that and then Curve Measure. All right, and I'll, now I'm gonna start uh, measuring the curve of this thing. So I'm kinda of looking at the instructions. So I'm kinda of, kind of flash back and editing here between what I'm doing here and what's actually happening in the laser cutter. So I'm gonna kinda of want that top left corner to make my first mark. So there, there it is. And now I'm gonna want, yeah, make my mark there. And now I'm going to want to scroll it down to the bottom right corner. And I'm going to want to make a mark there as well. So yeah, there's my mark. And then I'll go back to home, kind of. Now that I made my two marks, I can start the measuring process. So I'm going to go six rows, 13 columns, and start measuring. And what happens now is it's going to... Is it going to take measurements one by one in those rows and columns. And you can, for more intricate stuff, you can make uh, more rows, more columns to really fine tune it. So I'm kind of wrapped up and there is my vector that it shows. Pretty cool how, how that works. So now I'm just gonna kinda just write a word. I'm gonna write probably curve here. Let's try that. I'm going to kind of just enlarge it so, so it's going to be basically filling up that top area of what got measured on that curve board. So let me see here, kind of make it a little larger. Kind of set my, get my settings going there for engrave. Then let me see here. I think we're good to go. Let's try it. This is the first time I'm trying it, so we'll see how it goes. All right, process, and let's start her up. So what you just witnessed is me attempting to engrave on a curve for the first time. It turned out pretty well. I totally screwed up the settings. I had it way too slow. Uh, so it kind of got a little too crispy there, but that was my own fault for the settings. Once I realized it, as soon as I started, it was kind of too late, so I just finished it up. So that wasn't the main point of the experiment because I'll just fine tune the settings but it worked really well for the curved engraving. So what I did notice when you're in that curved section, there isn't a cutting option. There's just a scoring and engraving option. I didn't realize that. 
I, I guess it's probably not that big a deal. I'm not really cutting on the curve. You're more engraving that kind of stuff, but just something to be aware of. So just to recap, that smart fill feature did work really well. You are gonna have to fine tune it a little bit, but overall it's gonna save you a lot of time. As far as that curved engraving feature on this X-Tool P2 laser, I feel like that is what it really sets this machine apart compared to any other laser out there. With that being said, if you do have questions on this X-Tool P2 laser cutter, it's a little hard to say, uh, please leave them in that comment section below. And if you're interested in any X-Tool products, I will provide my link down below. Uh, it'll be the best price you can find. I have coupon codes so you can get a deal on it and it really helps the channel when you use those affiliate links. So as always, we'll see you on the next one.